Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're moving back to present day Iraq, this time specifically to Satisfan. The British Empire would have a rematch of the Battle of Essen against Ottoman Turks between November 22nd and 25th, 1915. Once again, this rematch would posit British Major General Charles Vera Ferris Townsend, who is still leading 11,000 men of the 6th Pune Division, part of Indian Expeditionary Force D, along with two warships, a river gunboat and the HMS Firefly. Defending against the attack was Colonel Naridin Pasha, leading 20,000 men, this time along with 52 guns from the refreshed 35th and 38th Division, part of the Ottoman 6th Army. Along with this was the brand new 45th Division and the veteran 51st Division in reserve. There would be no clear winners in this battle, only losers. Intending to follow up on what Townsend thought was a winning strategy, Townsend planned to attack in four parts. Three infantry groups would attack the Ottoman lines frontally, and a fourth group composed of cavalry and infantry that would flank the Ottoman lines on the left. The Ottoman commander Nuruddin, however, used his more than 50 days of quiet to review his forces, receive reinforcements, and prepare more than 12 strong points in the line with a full network of trenches to fall back to in case the British pierced their wall. He also ordered the Ottoman artillery to make any British ships in the river their primary target and to only focus on the British infantry once the British naval threat had stopped. British Commander Townsend ordered his men on a night march on November 21st, intending to attack on the morning of November 22nd. Insisting that the time attack could not be altered, his men did attack at the dawn of November 22nd, but they had not been able to move quickly enough to reach the west bank of the river, and instead decided to attack the stronger defenses on the east side, all to keep on schedule. The British moved their ships up, one was a river gunboat, and the second ship the HMS Firefly. However, both ships were prevented from being part of the attack as the Ottomans had both mined the river heavily and when the ships tried to navigate the mines slowly, the Ottoman artillery had rained down on them. Nuruddin had successfully incapacitated the British naval ships. The British infantry attack fared little better, with the first group attacking was closest to the river and came under heavy fire by the Ottoman infantry. They were pinned down and could not reach the Ottoman trenches. The right flanking group of British troops, consisting of Punjabis and Gurkhas, did reach their targeted trenches pushing back the Ottoman troops and pursued them towards the second line of Ottoman defenses. The only reason the Indian troops were stopped is that Ottoman commander Nuruddin ordered his 45th and 35th divisions to reinforce the second set of lines, stopping the Indian troops from taking the second line as well. Townsend ordered a third group to try and assist the Indian troops and utilize the hole they had made. The movement order was complicated though and caused the Ottomans to fire and flood into the British troops, meaning from the side, killing many and stopping their shift in position. The mobile 4th group of cavalry and infantry that Townsend had dispatched found themselves stopped as well, fighting Turkish and Arab cavalry along with Nuruddin ordering his 51st division to assist. This resulted in Townsend's flanking maneuver to crash and burn. By the end of the day though, the first line of Ottoman trenches were secured, but the Ottomans themselves were safely ensconced in their second line of trenches. The second day of battle fared even worse for Townsend as he was unable to break through and both sides were heavily damaged. On November 24th, both sides determined the fight wasn't going to be won and both retreated. That was at least until Ottoman commander Nuruddin realized the Brits were retreating as well and he and his men churned and pursued the British instead. The result was a 40% casualty rate for the 6th Pune Division with approximately 4,600 casualties. Meanwhile, the Ottomans had lost approximately 6,200 men but were in a better position because their supply lines were wide open, and reinforcements were already arriving while British command realized their own supply lines were not adequate for their troops at the time. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.